Hello and welcome to day 26 of our 30 day yoga therapy challenge. Today we're going to explore using our breath um, as a technique to help us move better um, for core stability. So it'll make more sense as we move along. So let's begin by coming down into a constructive rest. Knees bent, feet hip distance apart. And take a full breath in through your nose and exhale out your mouth. <sighs> Breathing gently as we begin to settle, sensing the back of the head against the ground, the back of your shoulders, your sacrum, and the soles of your feet. Doing a little scan through your body Checking in with the sensations that you're experiencing. And then gently turn your attention to your breath. Sensing the inhale coming in through the nostrils, moving into the lungs, maybe the lip, maybe the belly. And then back up and out the nostrils as you exhale. Staying with your breath. I invite you now to bring your hands onto your abdomen. And notice how the abdomen responds to your breath. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to deepen it. You don't have to push the belly in or out. But what you might start to notice is how there's just a really gentle rise and fall with each breath in and out. You're noticing how the belly gently rises up on the inhale and gently falls on the exhale. So now we're going to begin to take this a little bit further. We're going to allow the belly to soften. With an inhale, let the belly rise. And maybe even consciously, gently press the belly into the hands. Like I'm talking like one or two percent effort. Just so you can really feel it expand. And then as you exhale, Engage the belly so that it flattens all like all over the whole abdomen. So what we don't want is the kind of belly button to draw in towards the spine. That, that cue that we often hear in yoga classes or fitness classes, draw your belly button to the spine and then you kind of like divot. There's like a divot in the middle of your abdomen. We don't, I don't want you to do that. Instead, I want you to think of it as an even flattening, an even gentle engagement across the whole, be whole belly. So it doesn't have to be like a super strong, I want you to be able to still breathe easily. So let's take a couple moments and just explore that for yourself. Inhale into the belly, exhale, belly flattens. And so you can have your hands across your abdomen so you can feel where it's maybe flattening or where it's um, dropping down and play with that. And if you feel tension building up in your head or your shoulders or your jaw or somewhere else, consider engaging on the exhale with less effort and see if you can let some of that tension dissipate. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly flattens. So then once you have that pattern, we're going to try Adding on by inhaling, belly expand. Exhale, belly flattens, engages, hold that engagement, but take a couple more breaths. And then on the next inhale, release, let the belly expand. Exhale, belly flattens, hold that engagement. Take two breaths. And then let 
the belly release and breathe normally. Let's roll over to our side and we're going to take that into hands and knees. If hands and knees is not an option for you, um, I would say for today, do it in, do it in standing. Um, come into a mountain pose and you can still do the same breath. We're also going to do some arm movements. Um, so you do move arm movements in the same way overhead and standing. And then when we get to the leg movements, um, you'll be bringing the leg behind you into extension. Um, if you're okay on your hands and knees, let's come into a tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. So let's just take a moment to settle. So think of the weight from the hips settling down the legs into the knees and from the shoulders settling down the arms into the hands. Feeling nice and steady. If you need some support, something softer under your knees, you can bring a folded blanket or something like that. And then let your belly, whew, let your belly soften right down. Nobody's watching. So inhale to the belly now. Let it relax right down and then exhale, belly flattens all the way across, all the way around, kind of like a girdle. Inhale, belly expands and exhale, belly flattens. Let's find this breathing pattern a few more times. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly flattens. If you feel that your pelvis is tilting forward and back or your back is kind of arching either way, go a little bit softer with your engagement. So we're keeping a neutral spine and we're letting the movement come through the abdomen, through the belly. Okay, let's try a couple more. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly flattens. And then sit back. Um, release your hands for a second. Give your wrist a little circle. So at any time, if you need to do this to give yourself a little break, please do so because I know being on hands and knees can be quite a lot. Okay, but I'm going to keep going. So settling from the shoulders down the arms into the hands. Take an inhale into the belly. Exhale, belly flattens. Hold that engagement, but keep breathing and gently float the right arm forward only as far as everything else stays neutral. So it's just arm bone moving in the shoulder socket. And then bring the arm back down. On the next inhale, belly relaxes. Exhale, belly flattens. And float the left arm forward, only as far as you're not twisting through your torso or doing something funky, neutral spine. And then release the hand back down. And then just breathe normally for a second, release the belly. I just want to say one thing about bringing the arms forward. There will be a gentle kind of shift as the other arm does most of the, or does the weight bearing, but it, it shouldn't be kind of um, asymmetrical, like the shoulder is not going to lift and your body kind of comes out of neutral. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's come back to our tabletop and we'll do the arms again. We'll do actually each arm twice, um, alternating. So take an inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly flattens. Hold the belly, keep breathing. Inhale, the arm forward. Let's hold for another breath. And then bring the arm down. And then inhale, relax the belly. Exhale, belly flattens. Hold the belly, extend the left arm forward. Keep looking down at the mat. Release that arm down. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly engages. Hold that engagement. Take the right arm forward. And then the right arm can come down. Relax the belly, inhale. Exhale, belly flattens. The left arm comes forward. And then let the arm come down. Relax the belly. Sit back for a moment and give your wrist a little circle if you need to. 
Next, we're going to explore the same breathing pattern with the leg. So I'm just going to bring myself a little bit forward here. So let me just demonstrate for you as you're still giving your wrist a little break. We're going to start to take the leg back. And oftentimes what happens is we don't think about it. We just take it back. And in order to take it back, the hip lifts up. So you can now see that if I were to have, say, even a block resting on my back, and then if you bring the leg up, then it's going to fall off, right? So if you're balancing a bottle or a glass of water, you don't want it to spill. So you want to maintain a neutral spine and a level pelvis or level sacrum. So what we'll start to do is slide, and you can even try this, notice what it feels like to start to slide the knee back, keeping the foot on the floor and only going as back, only going as far back as that pelvis stays neutral. So maybe it's just a tiny bit like this and then you would come back. Or maybe it's a little bit further. Maybe the knee comes up, but the top of the foot stays on the floor and then you come back. So everybody's gonna be a little bit different. Um, maybe the pelvis stays level and the leg comes straight, but the toes are still on the floor. If you lift the foot up and then something kind of comes out of alignment, then we'll just come back and readjust the next time you do it. Okay, so have fun exploring with this. Um, and you can always bring, you can bring a folded blanket so you can get a little bit of feedback, like bring it right across your sacrum or a block or something where you can like feel a little bit of weight. And that way, um, if you, if you um, tilt your pelvis, you can feel the weight shift through the object that's on your back. Okay. All right. Let's now come back into our tabletop. Take a moment to settle, supported by the arms and the legs. Tune into your breath. Let's just take a couple rounds. Inhale to the belly. Exhale, belly flattens. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly flattens. Now let's start with the right leg. Start to slide the right leg back as you hold that engagement, still breathing through the nose. And then notice what happens. If you're not sure when the knee comes back down, when you're in your tabletop, notice if there's a settling or a shifting. Sometimes it's in coming out of the shape or coming out of the pose, quote unquote, that we can that we feel a shift or a settling. And then we know that maybe something moved when we were going into, into position. So let's try the other side now. Inhale to the belly. Exhale, belly flattens, hold that engagement as you start to take the left leg back. Notice if there's a lot of gripping and bracing. Are you able to breathe? And then we'll take the leg back and soften for a moment. Okay, let's explore the other side again. Inhale to the belly. Exhale, belly flattens. Explore taking your right leg back. And then bringing the knee back down. Notice what happens. When you're ready, full breath in. Exhale, belly flattens. And then extend the leg back. Let's do each side two more times. I'm gonna let you do it on your own at your own pace. Give your wrist a little break one more time. This time we are going to, and you can break if you need a little bit longer break, if you want to skip this next part, you can. Um, we're going to cycle through, we're going to do right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Okay, I'm going to make sure I got enough space in front of me here. So never, never rush through this. Take your time, settle first. Connect to your breath. Inhale to the belly, exhale, belly flattens, right arm extends. Bring the right arm down, inhale, belly, exhale, belly flattens, left arm comes forward, and then release. Inhale, belly, 
Exhale, belly flattens, right leg. And bring the knee back down. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly flattens, left leg. And then release. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly flattens, right leg, inhale. Exhale, hand comes down. Inhale, belly. Exhale, belly flattens. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, arm comes down. Inhale, release the belly. Exhale, belly flattens. Right leg, inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, belly softens. Exhale, belly engages. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly flattens. Hold the belly. Take the right arm forward and then maybe the left leg. So now we're moving towards the kind of that bird dog that we're all familiar with. And again, this is a little bit more unsteady. There's more complexity because we're moving two limbs at the same time. So maybe the arm doesn't go quite as high and the leg doesn't go back quite as far. And then bringing the hand down and the knee back. Relax the belly. Take a couple breaths. If you're still with me, let's try the other side. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly engages. Hold the engagement. Take the left arm forward and then slide the right leg. Maybe holding for a couple breaths, belly still engaged. Bring the left hand down and release the right knee back. Relax the belly. Beautiful. If you have plank in your practice, you can sit back and rest your wrists, but if you have plank in your practice, we can use this breath technique in your plank. So you start from a tabletop, and of course you'd have to be able to extend both legs by keeping the pelvis straight in a neutral, neutral spine. We don't want that. So oftentimes people do plank and like the hips drop down and then we're jamming in the low back. Um, so one option could be having a block between the thighs. Um, another option is this. Okay, so we start from our tabletop. Settle. Relax the belly. Inhale, belly soft. Exhale, belly engages. Right leg back left leg back. So the position of the spine hasn't changed. And so here we are in plank. And then one knee comes down and then the other, and then you can sit back. So I always find it really interesting when people say that plank is a core exercise because you have to have core before you can do plank. Plank is really an arm strengthening exercise because it's the arms that are supporting you. So if, you, if your core is not well connected, work at the beginning part of like the engagement and then moving the arms and the legs, keeping the spine neutral, right? Because if you're just fighting it and your back is arching or like something weird is happening, and you're not really connected to, to your abdominal core, which involves pelvic floor, which involves kind of everything. I'm not gonna get into it now. <laughs> Anyways, I could go on and on and on. And I think I'll probably end up doing a core challenge um, coming up soon. So more details on that to come. Have fun exploring. Um, and if you have any questions about it, um, you, know, you know how to reach me. All right, have a great rest of your day and I look forward to joining you tomorrow. Bye for now.